Okay, in our previous video, we looked at how to retarget animation from our robot character, which was characterized, onto a completely different character, this worker. And he was also characterized, and that allowed us to retarget the animation from one character to the other. So that's great. Except that this animation ends up having the worker's head pointed up at the sky, and he's not really looking like he's watching where he's going. So let's try to edit that so that uh, he looks more in a direction that's useful. So we're going to use the character's control rig and animation layers in order to make an adjustment to this animation. So let's get started. First we need to copy the animation from the skeletal system. Let's go to display x-ray mode. Here's the skeletal system and that's carrying all the animation right now. We're going to need to copy that over to a control rig in order to make any changes. So we'll go over to the Navigator tab, find Characters section, expand that, and double-click on our character. That gives us this panel here for Character Settings, and we can choose Plot Character. And we'll use this to now bake the animation from the character to its control rig. We'll say OK, we'll say FKIK, and accept all the defaults and plot. So now we have an active control rig, and it's already set up to animate with the same animation. Now that animation is stored here in the base animation layer. You should have an animation layers panel right here. If we want to make an adjustment, we can add an additional animation layer. We'll make it additive so that it adjusts the current animation, and we're just going to do a rotational offset for the head. So let's go ahead and click on this Add New Layer button. That gives us a new animation layer. I'm going to right click and just double check that the layer mode is additive. If we chose Override, we completely override everything in the animation, but maybe there's some subtle head movement we want to keep. We just want to have its overarching angle be more ahead or down. So we'll keep this additive mode. Next we'll want to be able to move the head, and so we can click on this button right here for the head. And in order for this to work, we're going to want to make sure that we choose our body part mode rather than selection mode. We're just going to say body part mode, and this way when we rotate this, it will rotate the associated joints. So instead of looking up at the sky, we're just going to rotate this down a little bit, and that's going to give us an offset, looks much nicer, and we'll push the key button right here, because we have animation layer 1 selected, when we key this, that value is going to be saved, it's keyed, you can see a little triangle right here on the timeline and it's stored in this animation layer 1 as an offset. As a result, we still have all the head animation in the base animation, but now its overarching angle is downward. So we get all of that little sway and have him looking in a little bit of a different direction. So that's great. Now if we want to get this over to Unreal Engine, we'll want to make sure that we choose to plot this to the skeleton, because Unreal is not going to read the control rig. It's only going to read the actual skeletal joint system. So again, we can use either the character controls, click here, bake plot to the skeleton, or we can use this character settings panel that we have open still, click on plot character, and this time, because there's already a control rig animated, gives us the option to bake to the skeleton. We'll accept the defaults, that takes care of the control rig, and now all of that animation is in place on the skeleton, and we can export that to Unreal Engine. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.